All right, so in this video, I'm going to be trying to find out the uh, flow loss from the PPRV valve. Also, as a side effect, I'm going to find out the loss from the Venturi siphon. So the GT and GT500 hats have a saddle tank. So inside you have this siphon tube. This is actually outside from a stock tank, right? It hooks to this and then it goes to the other side in the tank. And what it is, is it's a controlled leak. So the out, output of the fuel pump is here. Most of it goes, you know, out. But in here you have a nozzle and a pinhole. And you have pressure and flow loss out this side. And it creates a vacuum and pulls fuel. So I literally just cut it off and installed a just a piece of 3 8 corrugated hose, right? So I can't really take this one apart. But this is a Venturi off a GT500 hat. Um... But you can see that little, uh, get that to focus, the little pinhole. All right. So there's a, that nozzle and pinhole is also in here. And it's, it's a controlled leak. So, you know, okay, not a big deal, right? We, I have lots of pump upgrades. We make power, but now we're actually, I have no idea. We're going to find out how much is lost. So what I did was... I already know this uh, F90,000 262 fl flows 409 liters per hour on my test bench. So I installed it on the hat and flowing through a PPRV valve. And with the meter loss, I was only getting 329 liters per, per hour output. So I do have a loss. And then I recorded the amperage the pump was drawing. So um, now I'm about to test it with the PPRV deleted. And one, that'll let me see how much flow I gained from that number. And whatever I gained from that um, was removing this restriction. And then whatever's left from what it flows, the pump, bare pump flows by itself is how much I'm losing from my Venturi siphon. Um, and actually, I'll show you. I had, I've had shown in pictures and stuff, but I'll show you um, why, why this is a restriction. So, I mean, what the PPRV positive pressure relief valve does is it's in line of the pump on the outlet. It holds pressure and volume in the fuel line, so it's a drivability creature comfort type thing. Makes cold starts, makes priming the car easier when the car is sat for a while. So when you delete it, um, pressure drains faster in volume, so there's less fuel in the line. So it does take a tad longer to prime the car. So just keep that in mind, whether it's, you know, to you, Oh, I can't live with that. I want to jump in the car and crank it after a week. I don't want to wait a couple seconds for it to prime. Some people don't like it. It's a drivability thing. I get it. Other people don't care. They want performance, right? I have a pump that flows over double, like two and a half times what the stock pump did. I'm flowing more fuel, and this has become a restriction. And like I said, I'll show you why. So inside there, you see there's like a little brash copper-looking seat and then a silver ball in the center it's spring loaded like a check valve uh, it's not a true check valve but um so even though it's three eighths line all of that flow has to get and that seat i've cut one of these apart and measured it it's a quarter inch across so all of the flow is getting restricted through that uh, quarter inch wide seat in there so it hurts performance so i mean we know we gain performance deleting it now we're going to find out actually how much flow right so it'll be a cool test so pop the test hat back in there and turn it back on. And, and I actually took the um, I took the little orange flapper off the bottom of the siphon tube. So check this out. Now you can see see the that's the controlled venturi leak coming out the bottom there. And that orange flapper is just there to help prevent the fuel from aerating, right? So that's what it looks like. That's how much this 400 liter per hour pump is losing internally due to the Venturi cycle. Put it back in. Kinda cool. Set you back up. Oh, look at the numbers. Oh, and look, current draw went down and flow went up. It was, it's bouncing between 1.6 to 1.7. 
on that 40 PSI 14.6 amps. So let's set you back down over here. Don't fall, stay. That might fall, might stay, we'll find out. Gotta live dangerously every once in a while. Alright, alright, so I'm draw and look, and that's how I know the PPRV valve is a restriction. My amperage draw went down. So I'm at 14.6 amps with the PPRV valve deleted, and I'm at 1.6, and it was actually, it, it just bounced to 1.7 again. So when it bounces between numbers, I actually like to split it. So it's 1.6. Yeah, it's pretty, and then it bounced down to, so it bounced down to five, it bounced up to seven. So I'm just gonna call it a solid 1.6 gallon per minute. Do a fair shake here. So I'll just leave it at 1.6 gallons per minute. And we can go ahead and turn it off. So that was cool, you actually got to see the leak from the Venturi there. Um, and let me convert this to liters per hour. That's what everyone's used to seeing. 1.6 times 227.125. 365, well, 364 rounded. 364 liters per hour. So with the PPRV installed and the Venturi leak, with the PPRV and obviously, I, I can't do anything about the Venturi on return list. It has to be on the supply side. Otherwise your OEM tank won't work properly. But if you had a sump and didn't have to worry about the Venturi, you could delete it and gain some performance back on a pump. So that's kind of cool to see. And we'll calculate the percentage difference. 364 minus 329, 35 liter per hour dif difference. Uh, removing the PPRV. And then let's figure out the percentage change. Divided by 329. 10.6. So almost 11. Say 11%. So, on a 400 liter of our pump, deleting the PPRV valve and just uh, installing a regular piece of hose, which is the same hose that comes on the OEM stuff, right? Another PPRV OEM hose sitting here. I often delete them on performance applications. Now you can see why. You're getting 11% flowback, or about 35 liters per hour, on a 400 liter per hour pump. That's pretty cool. And we can actually see what now I'm losing from the Venturi. Even though there's nothing we can really do about that, it would be cool to see. So I know that pump, that bare pump flows 409. Let's subtract that from 364. 45 liter, liters per hour. That's substantial. That's no, that's nothing to snuff about. Whatever I was trying to say, 12%, 12.4 ish. Okay, right. so. Yeah, so when you put in a bigger pump and you return this application when you have a Venturi siphon control leak and you still have that PPRV valve that makes cold start easier, you're giving up performance. I can delete the valve and regain some of it. I really can't do nothing about that on return list. Unfortunately, that, that's how it is. Same for the GT500 hat, the twin pump hat. It has a Venturi dump siphon. You're losing performance. So I actually have something cool here that I'm going to test now that I make return hats. So I found Radium Engineering makes a aftermarket high flow um, siphon that can handle like a thousand liters per hour. But the coolest thing about this is it has different metering um, caps for the Venturi. So that silver one is like what you would use on the supply side. And then it has a medium and a large, right? And what you can do with these is um, put it on the return side. So if I have a return system, I have supply flow coming back the return into the fuel hat um, i can plumb this in the return and then use a larger orifice to not restrict the return so i don't mess with my pressure regulation so you're gonna have to test it so i'll be testing this here next week probably and i can get that 12 percent or 45 liter per hour flow back on a 400 liter pump my return setup uses the bigger 295 the 525 liter per hour pump so 
what I'll do is test that return hat with the pump. Um, I already delete the PPRV because there's no reason to keep it in a return system. I know it's a restriction. This proves that the PPRV is a restriction. You know, and the pump drew less amps. It's not working as hard. And you um, gain flow deleting it. So, yeah, I'm going to be testing this, but that's going to be another video. So, uh, wrap that up. So, it was cool. We got to see the meter leak from the Venturi. And we got to actually see how much flow with this pump that we lost keeping it, vice deleting it. And now the, the 262 pump does have an outlet check valve. Um, it's more like a backflow valve. It's not it's designed the same as a PPRV. It's just to protect the pump from like pressure spikes and surges. So you can see my pressure already fully drowned it out. And that's why when earlier when I had pulled it out of the tank so the pump wasn't sucking any new fuel, you could see it leaking um, because that's the fuel that was coming back through, right? Because I deleted the PPRV. Had it still been there, it would have stopped dumping when I pulled the filter socket out of the bucket. But yeah, there you go. Um, I'm going to do this. So next time I build a, a return or a bigger return, that's like my max effort kit and put the one of these bigger 295 pumps in a hat assembly. I'm going to do the same test and see how much performance I gain um, deleting the valve on that. So, all right, thanks. That's it.